unbelievable, my dear. Peter Obi is becoming a real sensation and a new influence and a move. Yes, because Nigerians have tired of the status quo and need a different, you know, new perspective. Probably someone who could better help us manage our natural resources and bring in security to an end, help create a venue for us to have better administration from every walks of life and every area. And this is what is happening right now. I mean, Olisa says it is, uh, it is no longer a joke. He saw a government staff from Kirby State campaigning for Peter Ruby. That's how, how things have gone. You know, this is in the north. You know, he saw a government staff campaigning for Peter Obi. They may not know Peter Obi one on one, but people want change. Their own brother, Buhari, who has been there for years now, what has he done? That's the question. What has he done? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. It is no more a joke. I saw a government staff from Kirby campaigning for Peter Obi. It is no longer news that the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, is enjoying the widespread popularity across Nigeria. Obi popularity has caught across both young and old population of Nigeria. The Labour Party is also enjoying a growing list of new members who have been registering to be part of the party. Meanwhile, former presidential candidate, Pop Publicity Secretary Olisa, has disclosed the experience he had when he went to the government establishment. Olisa, in a post on his Facebook, says, People should stop seeing Peter Obi's movement as a joke because of what he witnessed recently. There is no more joke, oh, it is not a joke, and definitely not an illusion, he stated. Sharing his experience, Olisa recalled that he saw even a government staff from Kirby State campaigning for Peter Obi. I am in the government establishment for documentation and his staff from Kirby State is busy campaigning for Peter Obi, he said. He went further to disclose that he saw some staff distributing pictures of Peter Obi's face on praying mats. This is no more a joke and is not an illusion. Those who think Peter Obi is just a noise are making a huge mistake. In a government establishment, I was in a, in a government establishment for documentation and a staff from the Kirby State is busy campaigning for Peter Obi. He is sharing the picture of Peter Obi face on the praying mat. Maybe it's organic or not coming from Peter Obi's team. But my concern is that no group should use such excuse to attack Christians or Muslims uh, who are actually the ones who wants peace in Nigeria. We want peace and we want change. We are tired. Nigerians cannot die in vain because some people feel they have Nigeria as their own. Nigeria does not belong to any of them. It belongs to all. Okay, so this is uh, what is going on now. Uh, you know, uh, we, we are seeing the birth of a new day and of a new dawn and it is important to begin to pay attention. You see, so people are th taking it, you know, as a joke and say, mm. I mean, if you think it's, it is a joke, why, why have you been saying, you know, why has it not become a real point of call that people are saying, ah, this Peter will be, Peter will be. Don't you know that something is, something is really making a wave here? Even in the north, in Kano, Kaduna, Castina, people are tired of the same thing that is going nowhere. People are tired. People are sincerely tired and everybody wants change. Everybody sincerely wants change. You see, so these are some of the things that are going on and why Nigerians do not want the same thing all over again. Peter Obi is that man who, you know, we've all seen how, you know, uh, he has governed before. And this is the this is the trust many Nigerians are banking on to say we, we've seen how, what he has done before. And we are sure that if he's given the opportunity, he will bring something fresh to the table and then we can all be proud of it. So these are some of the things that have been going on and why a lot of Nigerians are coming on board and are giving Peter Obi this, uh, this opportunity to say, you know what, let's, let's support this individual. Let's see what we can do. Let's support this individual. 
you know, uh, one of the northern elders says he only had a chat with Peter Obi and he can tell you that, you know, Nigerians are in for it. You know, there's a good man there. You know, it's not a, somebody who is tribalistic. And so he's saying, okay, okay I'm going to be a, a president like Buhari now for the north. No, 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 that's not it at all. So let's be open-minded. Let's please do your, do your own analysis of all the presidential candidates out there. Peter B is not the only one. Atiku is not the only one. Tinubu is not the only one. There are lots of other persons out there. But what are you doing? How are you making sure that you are making an effort to ensure that a candidate who have the interests of us all at heart, a candidate who is listening, a candidate who is not who is not oblivious to the plight of Nigerians, who can see clearly that things are wrong and is, you know, is, is, is effective in communication and innovation. The candidate who we can see, you know, understand the problem and understanding the problem is good, but is not good enough. What is the person doing? What is the person antecedent? What did he do when there was, you know, when you go for an interview, these are questions they ask. In a scenario where you give me a scenario, a time where you have been in this kind of condition, what did you do and what was the result? How did it turn out? Important factors have to be, you know, put in place as seen as part and parcel of what ought to be so that people can move forward. Important aspect has to be you no know, considered. And so if we really want change, we really want this in Nigeria, we are all talking about to become the order of the day where we can truly all be happy, then we have to work. And the work is not for one person because if only one person votes, then that's as good as a failure. We all have to together intentionally do something. You know, we all have together. But that's why it's called democracy for the people by the people. Okay, it's for us all. Okay, it's for us all. So this is what is uh, happening right now, you know. So this is, uh, you know, this is what is happening. We, we just... We just need to continue to um, ensure that, uh, you know, we, we do the right thing. Okay, we do the right thing by getting in the right people, the right persons. Okay, the right persons in place. So these are some of the things going on. Nigerians, it is what it is. And the time for the change is now. For a long time now, we've seen how things, devastation, having wrong leadership, it has affected us all. And so what do we do? A change is necessary and is not an op option. It is, it is compulsory. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.